that one was full. Uh oh, I think I need a bigger box. Cause I'm out here grinding. I don't care what nobody say. I'ma be me. Stay hood, stay rich to the streets. Talk about greatness whenever they speak about me. Alright, I'm in one of my locations and. I gotta come in here and fix up a lock in the locksmith. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a collection while I'm here because things are getting low. Usually you gotta stick your hand up here and check these. You can also take the globe off the top to get down to them a little easier. Sometimes it's just easier to stick your hand in there and grab them. They're also saying that the Mike and Nikes are only spitting out one, so let's try to see what we got here so we can fix this. Okay. Let's try it again. Let's see what we got. Five. Okay, and seven, so. Not too I just bad. pulled back up to my location and I have. A better machine in the back of the truck and I'm about to go and change this other machine out because it's been in there for a while it needs to be taken out I'm gonna re spray paint it up and clean it up again so I'm gonna just pretty much change the bottom out and refill the Mike and Ike's because they go so fast at this location okay I'm back to switch it out I'm just gonna move the globes over and refill it up with a new bottom this one needs to be taken care of and refurbished again it's been through the works and now time to fill up the mic and ice okay it's all filled up and ready to go i bought two boxes of these and i ended up putting in 19 of them and i still have a couple left sitting up here okay i'm gonna do the math and see if i have 81 in here, get this open. All right. If I have 81 in here, then I will profit good. Let's count to see how many I have here. Okay, we have exactly 80 Mike and Ikes here. We have them in rows of five, so that's 14, that's 10, that's 13, that's 22, and that's 21 comes to a total of 81 if it's releasing seven per box all right so I paid 98 cents each box I put 19 into the canister so 98 cents times 19 is 1862 subtotal then you have to add in your seven cent sales tax which is a dollar and thirty cents so then we add it together, 1862 plus our sales tax is $1.30. The total is $19.92. So that's what I spent when I put it in there. And if I have my machine dispensing seven Mike and Ikes per quarter, then that means 
if there's 81 Mike and Nikes in a box, which was there, there was 80 there, then that means I'm tripling my money at that price because it's 12 quarters and three dollars. And if I paid a dollar for them, then I'm making three. I'm tripling my money. I'm making 200% profit. So my total after selling all these 19 boxes should be $57. There's my total right there. Minus my investment price of $19.92. So $57 minus $19.92, my original investment will leave me with $37.08 profit just from the Mike and Knight box. And the Mike and Knights were low. They weren't completely empty. And if you want to know the exact number for the other five boxes, it's $10.10 added to the 19. So it comes to a total of 47.18. I usually round it to about 45 because that's usually around what I'll make with that canister full with 24 boxes. Usually it's better done by weight. So you know how much weight you're giving out based on how much the whole bag of candy weighs. But I've had people ask me how much of this candy should be coming out and how much of that candy. So if you're a visual perceptive and you want to know the exact numbers, this is a way of figuring out the exact numbers as well, just so you'll know. Okay, everything still looks good in here. It's nice and full, so I don't have to do a collection or refill this one. Well, on to the next one. Okay, coming in to another one of my locations and the hot tamales are absolutely gone. M&M's, they're about halfway and the gumballs are slightly down. So let's see what we have. All right. Let's see what we have here. Okay, the gumballs, they didn't do that great. Hold on, let me put this flash on. There we go. Gumballs didn't do quite as good. But, just a little something there, a few dollars. Then we got the regular M&M's. They did okay. And then, the hot tamales. Oof, this thing is full. It's overflowing. Oh, man. And I gotta get the ones out of here that's in here as well. But that thing is full. Come Huh? Yep. <laughs> and let's get this one here too. That one was full. I think I need a bigger box. Now I'm heading over to my apartment, a complex location. See what we have over here, if I can get in. Ready to pull up to the apartment complex location where I have my combo machine. So here it is right here. I gotta do a U-turn, turn around and come back so that I can get in. See what we have over there. I've been approved for another machine, so Getting ready to place another machine over there real soon. Hopefully, if I don't get a place this week, I'm gonna try to have a place next week. Running around doing just a couple collections today. Everything's not ready to be collected, but I did have a few machines that need to be collected. So I'm gonna take this collection money and I'm gonna use that to refill the next machine I'm getting ready to put up. So let's go see what we got at this location. All right, I'm heading up the steps. Going up here to check out this machine. See what we have going on. I like to take the steps better than the elevator when I don't have a whole lot of stuff on me. So, let's see. Okay, we got a couple of things that have sold out. Are nearly gone. Oreos almost gone, the muffins are gone. This row is completely empty. And we got a few chips that are gone, so let's see what's inside.
All right, I can't hold this camera and do this with one hand. So. My phone ended up dying on me while I was at the apartment location, so I wasn't able to film anymore, but I ended up making like $63 and some change, and that was after 10 days, so not the greatest location, but it's something. And the other two machines that I went to, combined, I ended up pulling over $200 from those two locations. So altogether, I ended up with a total of $273.85. So I'm going to end up taking that and investing it back in candy to refill those machines. Plus, I'm going to fill up this new snack machine that I'm getting ready to put out. So it just helps me to continue growing my business. Make sure that whatever you're making from your collections, you end up investing right back into your business so you can keep it growing. Because that's really the ultimate goal in this business is to continue growing and expanding. Because that's where you're really going to make your money at when you get multiple machines out there full of products so again not the biggest and best collection video but I didn't have much time machines that I had to go and collect from today so I just went out and collected from these three machines I needed to get it done so if you like the video make sure you give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below also hit that subscribe button so you can get instant notifications every time I upload new videos until then I see y'all next time